<laughs> you mentioned him on the show the other week. Trayvon Diggs is in the matrix right now. Six interceptions in the matrix. I'd say doing his best Deion Sanders impersonation. Man, you, you saw what the man said with Coach Nick Saban. You know, Nick Saban said, man, I'm going to move you from wide receiver to cornerback. Uh, he called his brother Trayvon Diggs now, who's playing for the Buffalo Bills wide receiver, superstar, and was crying to his brother like, man, what the hell should I do? His brother said, man, we need to get to work. <laughs> That's what the hell we need to do. And look at him now. That was the best decision. Um, even though it probably hurt him at the time, that was the best decision the young man could have did. He could have powdered. He could have transferred to another school and played receiver. But he wound up sticking it out, got his footwork and technique together. Now he's playing that good cornerback. Now he shut down at the cornerback. But now it makes sense. The fact that he played receiver and when the ball is in the air, he doesn't panic. And he's coming down with the ball just like a wide receiver would. So kudos to Trey not giving up, uh, staying on point, getting in the damn matrix. Six interceptions in five games. Is it seven or six? So he got six interceptions. Six. Yep. Six receptions in uh, five games or six games. Ain't nobody doing that right now. I think the last time somebody did that for Dallas was 1970, if I'm correct. So shout out to Diggs, man, just sticking to it. Uh, understand that sometimes it hurts. But, man, you made the best out of it and look at you now. So do you want to give him NFL Defensive Player of the Year now or later, Ike? Because if he keeps up at this pace, my Lord. Like, he's able to bait quarterbacks, and I think it's going to get to the point where – they don't even target or throw on his side of the field. I think he's been that dominant this season. No, nah, he's in his own. Um, if you watched uh, Hard Knocks in Dallas, he wanted to challenge every receiver. Uh, he got beat a few times in training camp against Amari. But other than that, you know, between him, Dak, and Amari, man, they was all talking smack. For me, man, that's what I want as my cornerback. I need a dog as a cornerback. I need a dog who's not only going to bark, but he's going to bite. 